Hey, what's up everyone, welcome back to this new tutorial. So now we're going to be learning how can we pass a JavaScript variable to PHP. So as you can see, I'm using a template over here. I kept it as simple as it can, just so that we can avoid any confusion. So we have over here the WP and just to include the CSS file like this one. Okay, so from here, I'm going to proceed and create a script, JavaScript, uh, GS script like this. Okay, and from here, I'm going to be declaring a variable. So basically, this variable is the one that we're going to be passing to JavaScript, to PHP. Okay, so var, so let's call it test, and let's uh, assign it to this variable, 7g5, just a number. Okay, so we declare this variable called test, and over here, what I'd like to do is to echo it, to print it. So console log, console log, test. All right, so I'm going to go over here and let's check. So basically, this is our page, this title over here, pass a JavaScript variable. So I'm going to do a refresh like this and go to inspect element, right click inspect element. And over here on the console, you can see over here that we have 7G5, which is this variable over here. OK, so now it's working just fine. So what I'd like to do right now is to uh, start our uh, Ajax request so that we can take this variable over here and put it on the PHP function. So before the win that we need to include our jQuery library. So I'm going to type over here jQuery CDN. Uh, we have it over here. OK, jQuery CDN. And I'm going to be using this uncompressed. Okay, just copy this script over here and go back over here and on the top going to be pasting it over here. Also, I'd like to uh, remove these two things. Everything just want to keep it as simple as it can. OK, so we have the jQuery over here. We include it and over here we have our script, our JavaScript. OK, so I'm going to start over here by including our uh, jQuery function. So jQuery document over here, point ready function. And let's use over here the dollar sign. And let's open over here the parentheses over here, not after over here like this. Also, we must close that tag like this. OK, so from here, uh, I'm going to be taking these values and putting them on the inside like this. OK, let's just remove these. OK, so from here, what I'd like to do is to include an Ajax Ajax request. So let's do that. So point Ajax and let's open the parentheses like this. Also, we must close it at the end. Let's do it first right now. OK, so the first parameter that we need to uh, identify is the URL. So this URL, uh, URL is really important. So basically, this is the link that's going to take us to the file that's going to be handling all our requests, which is in WordPress. It's called admin-ajax. OK, so let's put two points over there. And wp, wp, dash admin, dash admin, uh, dash uh, ajax, like this point php. OK, so this is the first parameter. Also, if you did a research, in the WP admin file, you will find this one. So basically, this one is responsible for handling all the Ajax requests. OK, so the second parameter that we need to ident identify is the data that we want to send to the server. So do it like this, two points. And let's open the parentheses like this. So the first one's going to be the action. So basically, the action is the second part of the hook. Later on, we're going to be using a hook. So this one is going to be the second part of it. So just remember this one. So let's call it, for example, PHP tutorial. So the second part, let's put a dot over here, go down and let's use our variable. So the variable that we want to store in our case, it's going to be this one test. So let's call it, for example, PHP test just to make it distinguish it from this one. OK, I'm going to be putting test over here like this. And basically, that's it. We did most of the work right now. So we can also do this. We can add a success function, success function. So basically, this function, function is going to be run once our request has been sent without any problems. So if we have a success, meaning that our request has been sent correctly. So over here, data, let's open the parentheses and let's echo something. So console log, log, let's call something like happy. It has to be between these, so happy. So let's save this one and let's go uh, to our index page. So basically, the index page is the, the, the file where you, when you uh, initialize your plugin. You can see over here the plugin name, this one over here. So I'm going to scroll all the way down and I'm going to create a function. So function, let's call it our tutorial. 
okay open these and yeah, let's open our function over here and also over here on down i want to include the the hook so add action and so the first parameter is going to be the webp dash ajax dash and over here so basically uh, i told you before that this one is a dynamic hook so over here we're going to be using the second part of our hook which is the php dash tutorial this one the action the action okay so i'm going to be putting it over here and in the second parameter we're going to be putting the name of our function in our example we have our tutorial just copy it from here and paste it over here but it has to be between these parentheses all right so inside our uh, tutorial so the first thing that we need to do is to check if there is a request that has been th sent to the server so let's do like this so if e set uh, request if e set oops let's go down dash request so basically we're checking if there is a request so if there is a request do the following so what i'd like to do is to create a new php variable let's call it testing like this and let's assign it to our request like this so if there is a request do the following and so basically this one over here is going to be an array so this contains everything all the values that we're having over here so i want to be sp specific i want to uh, only declare this uh, this variable over here this test so i'm going to be putting it inside these parentheses like this request request just this one over here this one all right so now let's close this one because we are on the php and let's go down and let's echo something so let's echo for example uh hello this is just a starting point to see if everything is working just fine so let's go back over here and let's do refresh so as you can see we're having a problem on the 205 let's check that 205 yes we forgot to close our add action so now let's check again yes we're having this problem over here because i did this so i must do add action not action action so add action so let's go back over here and let's do refresh excellent it's working so over here we can see that uh, we're displaying our variable we can just remove it from here we don't need it any anymore just remove it because we need to see it on the php not on the javascript so over here we are having this happy so happy meaning that our request has been sent without any problems so let's check the network over here we can see that we have this uh, uh, request admin dash ajax point php the action is this one and the php dx is 75 so let's click on it go to respond so before doing this i want to show you what's going to be over here so basically we need to see we need to see this echoing hello so we need to see this one so let's check excellent so now we can see it we are having our hello over here all right so let's go back and instead of echoing hello i would like to echo our testing variable this variable over here so let's put it over here and let's we can add a text over here this is our gs variable like this and we must put a point over there so let's go back over here let's do refresh okay so this is our yes this is our gs variable 75 and we have over here this zero so th the reason why we're having this zero over here is because we didn't kill our function so basically this is for security reasons we must always kill uh, the function that uh, deals with our ajax request with our server request so die over here all right so over here let's do refresh so we must not see that zero over there excellent so this is our gs variable all right so from here we can do something else we can for example save this uh this test and over here we can save it to the database we can basically do anything we want with it so for example let's let me save it to the database so i'm gonna start with the global WPDB like this and over here i'm gonna be putting WPDB and insert insert and let's open that those tag and let's also over here we must close it and over here so the first parameter is gonna be the name of our uh, table so in my case let me show you WPDB prefix like this and point gonna be using the lms dot enroll let me show you that over here let's close the first parameter and let me show you this this library or this uh, table okay so so in the next parameter i'm going to be using uh, an array to include the data so over here let's check check the any table so basically i would like to use this id so insert it's going to be uh first one it's going to be the id and let's insert it to okay so i'm going to be saving and let's make another request over here refresh our page happy excellent let's go back over here let's check 
Excellent. So now we have it. We can also do this. We can go back to our checkout page and change this one. Let's change it, for example, to uh, 667, the neighbor of peace. <laughs> okay, so let's check it again. I'm going to be doing a refresh over here. Okay, uh, let's check. There we go. So you can see it's working. So basically that's it. This is how we can pass a JavaScript variable to PHP. And in this case, we save it. We saved it to the database. So thanks a lot for watching. And I'm going to see you in the next tutorial. Take care.